What is going on fam? This is your boy Tager. Hey, listen, we're over here at San Diego at Pacific Ocean Beach. It's freaking lit right now. Doing a little bit of longboarding, even though it's uh, super crazy out here. Tons of people everywhere, but that is to be expected, right? <laughs> Yo, so I got y'all freaking awesome San Diego recap coming up. But it, just to let you know, if you missed my last video that came out, the Grand Canyon experience, make sure you go back a video, check that out. And my next video, it's gonna be of uh, some other beach. So it's gonna be lit. I'm bringing you all a lot of content. I did, like I said, this is the, gonna be the recap of my East Coast to West Coast move from North Carolina to my move to LA. So it's gonna be freaking epic. I hope you enjoy this San Diego recap video I got coming for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because if y'all already know, your boy Tiger is gonna keep it lit live. I'll catch you on the other side. Bang, bang, baby. Yo, check it out, man. The doggone, the doggone trailer just fell off the back of the U-Haul right here, yo. God almighty. Good thing I ain't in no rush. I'm going to sit here and help him out with the old copper. <laughs> with the old all copper. Right. All right, here's the fun part. We got it all jacked up. Now we got to get the U-Haul to back up right in line. Got some traffic coming by. <laughs> copper still waiting to make sure we're good, though. And just like that, we Gucci, fam. We Gucci. <laughs> Y'all, check it out. So the driver of the day, I was just like, helping in the U-Haul. <laughs> here's, the, here's the people that are with him. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> he was a real Superman. He really helped Hey, us. I had to use all my muscles, right? <laughs> yay, yay. Hey, but thank but you, check it out. You. I told him that, uh, that he got a $125 ticket from the cop. And he had, <laughs> yeah, and we believe you, too. <laughs> he had to pay the cop in cash, no receipt. <laughs> Well, ain't this just some California bullshit? I ain't seen my truck take $75 in gas. I, and since the freaking gas boom back in 99 when I was just a young boy. Hold the flipping phone. $75 didn't even fill my truck up. I had no idea gas is $4.10, man. Get the out of here. Hey, y'all, real talk, I didn't know gas was this high, so, uh, Deuces, California, North Carolina. I'll see y'all in about 36 hours. Holla at your boy. So y'all really didn't think I was going back to North Carolina, did you? Over some gas prices? Come on, bro. We in San Diego. Come on. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Ooh. I'll show y'all the beach tomorrow. All right, so I've done all my scouring of the nightlife of San Diego, and there's a couple options for is what's hot. Um, there's this place right here called Double Deuce. Um, this is like an adult arcade over here called Coin Op. Um, there's there's actually a couple pretty decent nightclubs that are available. One is Foy, which is right here, but then another one is gonna be the one I'm probably about to go. But it's like it has like the longest line though, so I'm probably gonna be in line for a while. But if I'm only gonna be here for one night, I want to be at the best, dopest, littest spot anyway, just like I've done in the other cities. So that's what's about to go down. And the other place, uh, I mean, well you'll see here in a second. <laughs> The next morning. Super stoked and excited to be getting back into my workout regiment, man. Oh my gosh, my body needs it so much. I've been <laughs> very inactive. And y'all, just to let you know, that club I went to last night, Club Foy, downtown San Diego, was one of the most lit clubs I have ever went to in my entire life, as you can tell. The music was popping, the people were jumping, and it was just non-stop. It was non, it was crazy. And that was a Thursday night. Thursday. Bless them when there ain't no stress, and this one is straight for the girl them. All right, so at this moment, I want to take a second just to show appreciation and a massive shout out to my hairstylist, Brian Stockton out of North Carolina. The only person that has touched my head in the last two and a half, maybe even three years now, literally the only person. And now that I'm making this move to Cali, I knew this was going to come down to it. It's been about two and a half weeks since he cut my hair. And here I am now at Fantastic Sam's. I don't know anybody out here, so if anybody watching this, you live in the Cali area and you got a good connect, hit me up, let me know, because I'm trying to find somebody that can cut my hair correctly, because now I'm going to have to take a big risk at a little 
box store and uh, see how things go. So hopefully they don't mess it up too much. But I just want to let you know, Brian Stockton, that I appreciate you so much. And uh, hey, every time I come to North Carolina to visit, believe me, you're going to be giving me my haircut still. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. All right. Here we go. All right, so far so good. Everything's looking right. And uh, oh, for my favorite part right here. Everybody loves a good little shampooing right here. <laughs> Alright Brian, I guess it's up to you man. Let me know. <laughs> Did you do okay? I feel I feel good. I feel good though. So alright, time to hit the beach. Oh the beauty, the beauty, the beauty of having to stop by the old good old laundry mat to for the little self-service. I'm actually about to jump off all my dirty clothes right now. They're gonna clean them. I'm gonna come back at seven and pick them up. But, and in the meantime, I'll go play on the beach, baby. 1875 times what is it? $1.25? $1.25, 20, 50. 20 bucks, get it all clean. Well, 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 fam. As you can tell, I got sunglasses on now. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story. It's always a story with me. So I went over here to this little beach mailbox and gifts place, which is right here beside the laundromat that I'm at. And uh, I went in there to look for sunglasses, and the sunglasses are just five bucks. So I was like, all right. So I was looking through them. She has like 60 pair. And I was like, man, I really don't like none of these though, because they're not, I wanted like the box look kind of like similar to what I got on now. And she was like, well, I had these pair of Ray-Bans in the back, because none of the none of the, the sunglasses that she had was like name brand or anything like that, which I don't really care about that. But uh, she was like, well, I got a pair of Ray-Bans in here that somebody left though, like a couple weeks ago, and they never came back for them. I was like, well, let me check them out. And she showed me these. I was like, these are damn near perfect for what I wanted. So I was like, how much you want for them? She was like, well, if you just give me what I'm charging all my other sunglasses for. I said, I was like, $5 for a pair of Ray-Bans? Yeah, I'm all over that. Um, they're a little bit big for my face, but I can deal with that considering I broke my other pair that I had. So uh, I'll rock with these. And um, hey, you gotta have sunglasses out here in Cali, baby. Let's get it. little tourist <laughs> spots I've been going to is when you go out, especially at the nightlife, they charge outrageous prices for their drinks at the, at the clubs and stuff like that. Like last night, I got a freaking, I asked for a vodka and a Red Bull. She came back, asked for $20. It was $20 for a freaking basic vodka and a Red Bull. So I'm not playing that game no more. I got the Crown Apple, or the, the Crown Royal Vanilla right here, 20 bucks. And that right there will last me. I will pre-game before I go out anymore because <laughs> that was insane. I'm not doing that no more. That's not even worth it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Check it out, your boy's about to get some longboard action footage on the beach, yo. It should be pretty lit as long as I don't kill nobody. <laughs>
type of content right here. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that mother subscribe button. Let's get it, yo. I feel like North Carolina. Oh, welcome to paradise, baby. I right, appreciate it, homie. When are you moving out? Uh, I'm moving to LA. Nice. Bang, bang. What's your name? Tager. All right, baby. Yes, sir. In class, we were smoking chill. It was only gym and lunch. We thought it was real. I was even feeling mad. I ain't even care. Yeah, just to be around you made it worth it. I dropped out, but you still said I'm perfect. I remember at the prime. Hey, well, here we are, back in the very, very high traffic area. Oh, we got a junkie. This one's. This one's really drunk right there. Drunky. Drunky number one. <laughs> number one of the night. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> oh, damn. I'm sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> she said, boy, you better say sorry for that. How about I hit him with that dog and football? What's up, fellas? Let's get it, let's get it. It smells like straight pot out here. <laughs> we ain't Cali, though. What do you expect? <laughs> This is the man right here that got me, that got me the hookup on a, on a long board right there. <laughs> hey, so shout out to him for all that footage I just got. <laughs> <laughs> I just now missed the freaking sunset because I was getting all that longboard footage, but we still gonna go out here on the pier and see if there's anything left of it. Yeah. Yeah. My freaking gimbal battery just died on me, so I'm gonna have to freaking have the rest of this. How do I know that it's time, that it's real? Tangerine skies over roads, over fields. We are fragile and brave. We all align the same. That's how I know that inside there's a steel. Feels like I've been running forever. Now I'm where I belong. This love is an ultra love. So apparently I'm a complete and utter freaking idiot. I literally just drove 45 minutes north. Like As y'all can tell, I'm at the laundromat, which is right here by the ocean of where I've been all day. I drove 45 minutes north, got to it another LA Fitness, and then I realized, holy fr I don't have none of my freaking clothes from the laundromat. I left them here. So I had to drive 45 minutes back to get them, and here I am. All right, so check it out. Just now I got done taking a shower and all that good stuff. Even though this whole trip 
to get to LA Fitness and then back to the old beach I was at to back here took a, like wasted a solid two hours of my mother flipping day but the good news is I am fresh I do feel a lot better I just hollered at a girl in LA Fitness I was like what's the next littest city on the way uh, north anywhere north like at least an hour away she was like at a perfect spot for you bro Newport Beach Actually, if it wasn't for her to even say anything about that, I would not even know to even go there because I was thinking about going to like Long Beach or Huntington. She was like, nah, Newport Beach blows them out of the water. So, hey, if you watch, I know you watch this video because you subscribed to me. So, you got a lot of pressure on you. I'm going to check out Newport Beach. Y'all, what's going on? I just got out of the gym. This is your boy, Tager. Hey, I had to record this quick video for y'all because one, it's long overdue. And two, it's an issue that so many of y'all are having. And it's basically bowling down to you don't know how to handle everyday small obstacles that happen to everybody. And what I'm talking about is bullying, social anxiety, panic disorders, and family issues, and, and more. Um, by the way, you can always come to me at any time. I, I love helping y'all out. Um, that's what I'm here for. That's what the Tager. That's what the Tager brand is all about, baby. It's all about spreading positivity and helping others and looking to provide value to others without expecting anything in return. So with that being said, I'm about to drop a motto on y'all that I live out on a day-to-day -day basis that has changed everything from my life and is the reason why I can be so damn happy all the time and I can be so energetic and it, I seem like, it's just like, damn, Taker doesn't sweat the small stuff and here's why. Here's the motto I'm about to drop on you that's gonna change your daggone life and here it is. If it's not gonna matter in five years, then I'm not gonna let it bother me for more than five minutes. All right, I'm gonna say it one more time. If it's not gonna bother me, or if it's not gonna matter in five years, then I'm not gonna let it bother me for more than five minutes. So if somebody calls you a whole, just before you get all upset about it, think to yourself, is it gonna bother, is it gonna matter that he called me a whole in five years? He's a bum. No, it's not gonna matter. So guess what? It might irk me for about no more than five minutes because I'm going to keep on moving. So keep that in mind, y'all. Love each and every one of you. Holla.